Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome back to N800 Mega City Edition. Welcome back to Crown Falls, looking at the avenue. I like to have a walk around here from time to time to see just how the city changes. Yeah, in the last episode we built the church, we built the arts and buildings, the first ones, uh, the bigger ones that we have now rolling in here, Jorgensen and Sun. Is it having to do anything with Bente Jorgensen, I wonder? Uh, beautiful buildings, no doubt. We have lots of work ahead of us. The first thing that I would like to do in my city, right over here, we can now commission the first Let's ship of the line. And high. oh my goodness, yes, we're going ahead with this. Let's commission it. It's going to take a while before it's being finished. Um, and it will be then a nice, massive addition to my fleet and will secure Crown Falls for us further. Next step that I would like to do is, since we have some resources still left, we have, by the way, a very good balance, is upgrading a few more people. We still have 1,000 farmers over so i can continue with a bit more expansion especially more into uh, this area as well so I as we can see as we get closer to the fields here bent is giving us a gift is this a trap what is she giving me what is she giving me i haven't seen anything are we still at peace with her yes okay <laughs> i'm a bit scared of her to be honest because i know what she's capable of and yeah, we continue then just using the remaining timber that we have here on some more upgrades, workers mostly for now. And my production should be rather good. Yes, we're still positive on all my uh, early uh, productions, right? And we can boost our balance to 3,000. And yes, we're going to need this money now. Because in Lost Mill, my schooner, La Libela, has arrived with some building materials. And we should start using this to first of all, of course get cracking on another city. So Lalibela will also be a smaller city that we have, um, a flavor city as I like to call it, as it's going to use some different skins than Crown Falls, for example. And this one here is going to have the workforce then ready that we need for our Old industry. Probably this whole thing here is going to be massive industries. We also have oil fields there. Very good, very profitable for the future. We got three iron deposits and also clay deposits available that I would like to use as well. So we can actually go ahead already and start with the foundation of Lalibela by getting us the next productions this cracking. And, oh, we have riots in Crown Falls now too. That means I will need to get my police station over here. Very expensive, once again, I really rather not, but we have to. I'm going to start to move some of those workers away so that we have room for a nice central police station here. Once again, with different skins, let's use the basic skin for now. Um, should be looking towards the the main street right there's the oh actually wait a second there's the exit let's make the exit so that it's looking towards the the main road and then there's just another smaller one and as always i know some of you really want to see some more ornaments we just don't have the time really to squeeze them in so much right now let's build the police station very important because there's some beating down to be done these people really don't know how to behave Some more upgrades in the meantime, more workers we need. There you go. And yeah, we can actually also go ahead and upgrade some more people to artisans. And with that, we unlock new buildings as always. We have breached 10,000 people with all the upgrades. Hooray! Let's rejoice and continue in a Lost Mill. I would like to have my uh, timber production, so we can basically just copy the one that we have already and put it over there to the other side. And yeah, let's have it here somewhere uh, close to the close to the mountain area, probably, where we don't really... Oh, wait a second. Oh, here. We have plenty of space available. And we do get some nice 100% effectiveness out of that. And the road just continues then all the way over here to the city itself. This might actually also lead us to another main road that we have then here in the city center. A marketplace and a pub round it all up. And we definitely also should look out for some fish fisheries that we have then down here in the harbor area. For first beginning, let's build the fisheries. Uh, let's build the timber production right away. And let's build the marketplace. And the first house is then here. And with that, Lost Mill is also now growing into a smaller village. As always, things are not looking good with uh, bread. I will need some more uh, grain plantations. Let's have two more, another windmill and two more bakeries. 
even though I hate the prices on that, as each extend expansion costs me around 5,000 credits. I was talking about my next expansions of uh, consumer materials and um, sewing machines would be one of them. With the sewing machines we've also unlocked the coal mines. We got seven coal deposits available in Crown Falls. One of them is already over here that I would really like to use because with them we don't need the charcoal burners anymore. So let's get us a warehouse out there and the first coal mine. It just really consumes some workers and we do have a lot of them. And one coal mine produces as much as two charcoal burners. So that is quite the nice expansion or extension that we have because we don't need those charcoal burners anymore and with that we also save space. There's two coal deposits here right next to each other and I would definitely then like to use this as well for some another nice production. Also here we have then our iron production together with the copper and also what I can see here is the clay deposit right away so let's secure this for us with another two uh, brick factories. Let's make it a bit of a distance there because we definitely also want to have a fire station here and then I'm going ahead with my warehouse that is then also being connected with the mines here that we can have. And that means I can get rid of the charcoal burners. Hooray! Let's rejoice on that. And with another iron mine that I can build now up here, I will also be able to build two more furnaces and should we have them down he up here yes let's go ahead and have the first furnace number one in uh, this area and furnace number two can i still do this somehow i don't think so let's have one here and one here right next to my iron mine for more some more steel production which will eventually lead to more weapon production and another steel beams production that I would like to have over there. Another thing is we've unlocked uh, building material number four, uh, the windows. With the windows, I will need quartz. And let's just go ahead with that as well. And glass, right? So lumber checks, we have plenty. I think we also have enough logs, really, as I should have a nice production of that. Yes, we have 150 logs, uh, tons of logs right now. So I just really need to have my first quartz production somewhere. And we're using uh, this area for now, even though, of course, this is going to be actually our beauty harbor at some point. <laughs> For now, though, unfortunately, I will have to use it for quartz mines. No or sand mines, that is. And let's they have the first one here. Yep, we can easily then use them like that. This might be problematic. It's fine. Perfect. Because we have the cliffs here and cliffs are always problematic. Um, they produce uh, two per minute. The glassmaker consumes two per minute. So we could actually have four of the glassmakers for these quartz mines. And not only that, with that I can then also have four window makers ready for action at some point. Even though of course that's going to be quite expensive. Let's start with the first one, the first uh, quartz mine over here. Together with that the first glass maker and with that the first two window makers. Can I afford both of them? Mm, should we? Yeah, let's go ahead with that. 6,500 credits, one of those factories costs me. But it is absolutely necessary and brings our balance down there once again quite a bit. With the remaining building materials, I still have some headroom. So let's go ahead and upgrade the next block of houses here to workers. Meanwhile, Lost Mi uh, Mill has reached uh, the village status. I can build a pub. Those people will now be very happy to finally have a place to drink and get drunk. And I continue to use the remaining timber then on Aye. some more workforce, right? So this is now coming in. Some 300 farmers are available in Lost Mill. And we got a hundred starter workforce, so I could actually start with this brick production here. That would be entirely Still possible. Work clothes they need and schnapps they need. Both of that we have available. And both Your of that I would like to actually build here. Attack. Oh no. The next pirate is coming in. Where is my flagship? It's still selling the gold for 22,000 credits. And let's get it back home there. But I think that ship is just passing by. Is it? I hope it is. The fire meanwhile is gone. One building was lost in Martinez. And I can also now unlock the ponchos for my Honoleros. As we should have quite the income of that. Very good we have. And yeah, let's go ahead and have the next expansion of the city then. We can actually build them right away. No problem. Let's make sure that we have another bigger road than here in the center. 
Ship under attack. That probably is my flagship, which is now being attacked also by Miss Hunt. Flagship at your service. But it should take those hits. Just fine. Oh, and they're also fighting against each other. That is good for us. Which probably saves my flagship. More and more ships of Miss Hunt are flooding into Cape Trelawney, especially Royal Galleons and Ship of the Lines. Where's my ship? ship there it is! Just on time, we have finished the first ah. Ship of the Line. We do have quite a lot of skins available for these guys here. Explore this. Uh, what is going on with Bente? She wants to give me something again? I want to be exactly a tiger? Like you. This can't be good. This, this really can't be good. <laughs> Let's actually stick with one of those new skins. Beautiful. And of course the banner of the cat rises proudly. Can I build another one? We do need 10 more tons of weapons before I can build the next ship of the line. And we also unlocked the Royal Clipper now, which is a faster and more durable clipper. The trade ship. And we do have now, with the new furnaces, Right, another increased production of that. Let's go ahead with the next weapon factory in Crown Falls and the next deal works also. Attack. Mass riots in Crown Falls. A ship is under attack. We're probably going to lose that flagship here soon. Let's actually get it to Cape Trelawney ASAP. Your harbor is under let's attack. sell the let's sell the tiger while we can. It's giving me 23,000 credits and I definitely do need that kind of money. Right, yeah, back off, back off. Hunters are coming in. We will now be able to upgrade my Honoleros. And there it is. Let's go ahead and boom. Age of Independence has started in Martinez. And with that, we also have unlocked the aluminum production that would give us the airships. However, for airships, of course, it's way too early as I cannot afford them. But at least a nice boost there to my city. And with that, we've also unlocked now the better harbor defenses that we have then especially here the mounted gun and the cannon tower. With 10 more Obreros, we will be able to build it. Let's go ahead and upgrade a few more. There it is. And this is going to be a pretty nice defense then. Oh my goodness, Bente, what is going on? Four frigates alone in the new world already. We need to hurry up with the shipbuilding. However, I still have to fight my own population. Why are they unhappy? Negative 740 artisans. Have pity. I cannot they would like to have a variety theater. I do need some glass. The glass is now coming in, or the windows is coming in, and then we could build that. And of course, beer is something they really would like to get. By the way, another thing we can do in the meantime is building us a clipper. Clipper or Royal Clipper, that is the option that we have here now. The Royal Clipper has way more hit points. Let's go ahead with this, as I would like to start then my rum production soon. Lost Mill, meanwhile, has enough um, timber again. Let's continue with some more houses. These blocks, let's also finish them. And then we will be able to soon start with my beer production here. That is the hops plantations that we need to have first. Somewhere over here, most likely. And there you go. Lots of hops plantations. I wonder if that is enough. And I'm absolutely serious about this. For now, let's go with it. Let's have a warehouse then up here and a warehouse down here. They're producing very slowly, right? So every 1.5 minutes, they produce one ton of hops. So there's not going to be that much traffic in this area. It only costs me a bunch of timber and workforce right now. So it is safe to actually start building them already. Um, even though, of course, the cost will still be pretty high as one of them costs me around 500 and another 500 here, 1,000 per plantation. Right, but that should still work out nicely to build some of them. There you go. The first four hops plantations. And with that, we should also go ahead now with the first trade route. I think we might have an end here already. Attention for the Admiral. As Miss Hunt is attacking Lost Mill. Did I not see this coming? I don't know. Uh, let's get my ships over. We do need to get my ships into the central area anyway in order to start protecting those channels because Miss Hunt is really get going up here with strength already. She's backing off again by the looks of it. This gives me a bit of time to get my ships down and let's break formation too because they should definitely not wait for that. 
tip of the line that we have. Onwards into battle, but she's backing off again for now. But this was a warning shot for us, of course, that we should heed. Let's go for the next first trade route here. First trade route between Lost Mill and Crown Falls. And this one here will give me the hops that we need. Oh, and this hunt settled on another island now in Cape Trelawney. Of course, the schooner Lali Bela is going to be on this trade route, on this very first trade route. Yeah, those rides are not looking good. I cannot mobilize, right? Nope, I cannot mobilize my police force. That means I will need to build a second one. Hmm, but where, where, where? We could theoretically remodel this area here. There's just a bunch of farmers. And let's do this by having the fire station over here. And then a second police station over here. Right in the city center. So that we can beat everyone down faster. Let's use the workforce in Lost Mill to get started on the first uh, bricks production as well. As we're going to need lots of bricks for my uh, defenses. Let's continue expanding my uh, grain farms. We're going to have a lot of them now for uh, the beer production. So we'd like to go ahead and expand this whole area. There yeah, we can make then the connection with the main road. Later on, once we have the docklands, of course, we can get rid of them. But for now, I will need them. And another four... Yeah, that we can squeeze in here. There is, because of the cliffs, a bit of a problem. However, that is fine. With some, of course, warehouses close by then as well, so that we can provide all the transportation. And definitely, once again, a fire station. And over here, we can then start with our beer production, which would be started by the malt houses that we need, and then the breweries. Now, the malt houses produce two per minute. The brewery consumes one per minute. That means we can have uh, two breweries for one malt house. Let's go ahead and build four malt houses for now, which will then lead to eight breweries, of course. And that will probably not be enough, but it's a first start. And then we have, once again, our warehouses, respectively, on the other side. Now with that, uh, definitely also a police station. My first Royal Clipper is ready. It's looking sexy. Going out here, Sea Cucumber it's called. What a fitting name. And Sea Cucumber is going to deliver some resources to Martinez. And in Martinez, it's now totally worth it then. To start building up, ooh, to start building up my rum production. That's what Martinez is for after all, at least for now. And do I need some more production here in general? I think we're looking ah uh, we're not looking that great right now. So let's at least have it once more expanded. Another alpaca farm and another plantain plantation, plus another kitchen, plus another fish oil factory. Alrighty, that's that. Yeah, it's getting dense in the new world. Should we secure a second island? I think we should. I think we should at least secure this one here. I do have my flagship still. Uh, selling the tiger there for 23,000 credits. Miss Hunt is out there. Um, do we have... We have the steel beams. Let's get that ship back to Martinez. And then take the building materials to settle on this island here. So secure the caoutchouc that we have and the coffee fertility. Plus lots of building space. It's still available. And it's getting really dense now in the new world. Oh my goodness, the ships are crazy right now. We are in deep trouble if we don't continue building more warships. Another ship of the line we can afford. I would also like to prepare a second shipyard now. That we can have. Um, my sail production, let's, let's have another sail maker. It'd be easily doable. This is not possible though. So what we are going to do is we're going to just a bit increase the production of wool by 20%. We're going to take lots of bricks, some steel beams and weapons. I do need to wait a few a bit more for the weapons because we do need to build up some defenses then in the new world as well. That brings me once again to my weapon production which is very pathetic at the moment. Let's go ahead and get us the next brick production working over here. Because we need more building materials ASAP. 
and I think also for my steel, we're still looking at a surplus of two. I will be able to build another steelworks then soon as well to, build, to boost our steel beams production. Another very bad sign, Sean Lafetune and Lady Margaret Hunt have ceasefire in the new world. That means they're no longer fighting against each other and have more resources available for us. Uh, there is once again a fire here, but there's my fire station. Let's mobilize. And I can still go ahead with a few more upgrades. We're going to need some of those obreros soon for my production. Let's try to go for some diplomacy. Bente, please like me. Uh, that wasn't successful, even though it was very likely. So we are reaching a tip point with her. Hugo is still going ahead with us a bit. He would still not go with an alliance and Bente, of course, also not. Miss Hunt is probably going to stay at Eternal War. Look at the military score. Uh, and Harlow, there might be some chances here. The same with Sean of the There you go. So the pirates, while we're at war with them, we might have a chance at ceasefire in the future if we are tenacious with flattering. Gratitude is so often time. taken for granted. We have decided to give good for where good is due. I know it's a small thing, but we wanted to celebrate everything you've done for us with a present. I love presents. Wow. Give it's me a control. tiger or something like that that gives me money. We have to thank Mechanical you loom, 5,000 worth it. Yeah, we might sell it at some point. All right, back in Crown in Cape Trelawney. Uh, we do have more for the farmers. Let's also build another fisherman. And probably also going ahead with two more hops plantations now. That are going to be very useful for my beer production. And now I'm just waiting for a few more building materials so we can start that beer production. Meanwhile, my flagship has arrived at the unsettled island that we have down here. Loxer, it's called. I'll take it. <laughs> and Loxer, I'm not doing anything with Loxer yet because we might we might lose this island, um, to be completely honest. So I'm not going to build up any infrastructure while we don't have the harbor defenses. Right? It's just a lot of space for the future and no one settles on it yet. Martinez is though our priority. We have enough timber and bricks so i would like to go ahead now with my rum production which is going to be a huge money boost and we can probably do this right over here there we have the rum we do just need some locks we have plenty of locks basically but i could also just build me some more lumber checks here and then i'm going ahead with the rum distilleries and we're probably going to make a a block of uh, 6 and probably then 12 in total. Which will lead to a rum production of around 24 rum maximum. Unboosted. Uh, risky. The new world is risky. Let's build the next shipyard. I will definitely need another royal clipper soon. And weapon wise we are at 20 tons of weapons. That is still not enough. Uh, we should be fine on steel though, really. Yep, let's build another weapon Stand factory. And let's also try and boost them a bit. Very good, we can boost them by 25% without... Even 30% without losing too much. Go ahead with this. That should lead us to a nice weapon production now. Three, it's probably going to be four per minute. Meanwhile, we go ahead with uh, the next uh, production, which is my rum. Um, let's just check it out how much rum we would need right now in Crown Falls. That leads to four per minute, right? So that would be two rum distilleries. Let's make it four rum distilleries. And with that, also four um, plantations. Yeah. And we're going now full out on all propaganda, as I really, uh, I'm really going to need this propaganda quest. I cannot do because he would like me to have a, an article that I'm not going for. Uh, let's go ahead and build the four rum distilleries plus the four sugar plantations. Very expensive stuff here. But it's going to be worth it. We also have this tiny brick production that I can now start in Martinez, which I'm going to need for all the, the defenses. Right, the only thing that's still lacking, we're probably going to have another warehouse over here then as well for these guys. And then this one. There you go. And I will also need two lumberjack huts for the additional log consumption. Now with that, um, this is going to take a while here still now before this is really fully ramping up. 
I think we will then need to yep also upgrade our trade post at ah, this. Aye, aye. The pirate is way too annoying already. We need harbor defenses. Ship under attack. Flagship ready for yeah, it's only a matter of time before we lose that flagship, unfortunately. My endeavor. My oldest ship, my firstborn, my firstborn. Can we can we leave Kip Trelawney here quickly and actually make it? Nah. Alright, there is no exit point here. Ready I thought there can. would be, but there's not. Goodbye. Been good knowing you. Our ship was destroyed. That's the end of my flagship. It was bound to happen. Oh it still hurts. Yes, well, I did. I, I did lose my flagship there. We have a, a higher weapon production, hopefully. At least 40 tons. Future. I'm waiting for 40 Keep tons to get them to the new world in order to start building up our harbor yes. defenses. And I still have those three ships that help me for now, but we, yeah, we absolutely need to double our weapon production. As much as it hurts me. That's where the beer and the rum is coming in, because with that we can afford it then. But it's still going to take a while. Uh, ship of the line, I could build another one. No, nah, we're waiting. We're waiting on the weapons that I need. However, we have the building materials. Let's go ahead. Beer-wise, how much beer do I need? Around four per minute. That's two breweries. Um, one mold house. Actually, wait a second. No, I'm mistaken here, I think. Yeah, that's four breweries, two mold houses, and four or eight grain farms. That's too much. The cost is insane, but we have to do it. Let's build the warehouse. Let's build the fire station. Let's build these four grain farms. Let's build two mold houses and then four breweries. And with that, the beer production is going to start now. That was expensive. And we are also on the balance really down now. Let's stop the beer production for now, the beer consumption for now for the artisans. I want to ramp up some of that storage. Uh, the occasional fire, but it's raining. This should help us, right? At least we can mobilize. The next Royal Clipper is coming out. The next ship of the line is coming out. And the weapons. Let's go with more bricks because we're going to need them. Ah, uh, we have a nice storage here with the Royal Clipper though. Yeah, we have 40 tons of weapons. Let's get it over to the new world. This is going to be risky though. We need to monitor that Clipper now closely as it is leaving the port of Crown Falls because there's dangers out there already, and we have very precious cargo on board. I'm not going to send any defense with it, though, because that would just slow it down. It's a very fast ship already. I'm not fully loading it, because that would further slow it down. The corridor here, it seems to me, is available right now, right? So it's going to, of course, all the way down here, and there's no Miss Hunt right now. She's here in this area, gathering more ships. Off it goes, my clipper. Meanwhile, the city is looking okay. I'm waiting for a bit of beer to come in now. The rum will soon come in. And then we continue onwards here into very dangerous waters. Stay tuned. <laughs>